Hi, I'm Storm. And I'm Mike. And we are from Advanced Group. What are we talking about today, Storm? Um, today we are talking about these reflectors, yep. which I believe have another name for them, but yep. my tongue got tired. What are they called? Uh, corner <laughs> cube delineators. Yeah. So yeah, a bit of a funny name. Uh, don't ask me why they're called that, but um, I guess it's another way of saying they're prismatic reflectors with um, just saying it a different way to give them a unique term, I guess. Yeah. So what do you use them for? Um, so yeah, they've got a few different re uh, reasons for, or needs for use or purposes or whatever. Now, um, most commonly in the old days, you would have seen these uh, on the old wooden guide posts, which were the white posts on the side of the highway. And um, these days, uh, um, <clears throat> they get used less so on for that uh, you know s purpose, but um, they do still get used on similar sorts of products. But wooden guide posts were phased out probably 20 years ago, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, and did they, did they just, are these the colours that they come in? So. Yeah, so there are other colours. Um, from memory, there was yellow and green. I can't remember if there's more than that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so. And how big are they? Um, these are. Oh gosh, gosh, I think these are 80 mil, 80 millimeters uh, diameter. Yep. yep. And do you know what they're made out of? Um, so it's all plastic, so it'll have some UV inhibitor in it to stop it from um, falling apart in the sun. Yep. Um, now, uh, it has a three dimension, it's got a flat surface on the outside, mm. but um, <clears throat> it's three, three dimensional shape inside of it, which gives it that prismatic shapes so that it can reflect light in, um, in directions other than just from straight on. So if your car's headlights are at an angle, then it will reflect the light back to you as the driver from your headlights. How would you install them onto a post or pole or something like that? Yeah, so it's got a little screw hole in the middle, which is probably about six mil. Now, um, yeah, so the easiest way would be to, to screw it into something. Um, in the past, we've also um, used different types of pop rivets to be able to fix them mm -hmm. to, to say a metal or something like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. And can they last in the outdoor conditions for a while? Yeah, so it's completely waterproof and um, you, with uh, UV inhibitor on it so that it won't degrade in the sun. Yeah. Um, except obviously nothing's invincible, so after you know 10 years it might get brittle and crack. Yeah. And yeah. does each colour, like, do they come sold individually? Yeah, from Mary, uh, actually I should double check myself. I think mm -hmm. they're sold in a 10 pack from memory. So, okay. Yeah, yep. so they're sold in packs of 10. Yeah. Yep. Um, and if they needed to buy, say, a lot more than that, can they get a discount for buying in bulk? Yep. yep. So um, there's two different levels of discounts. One is trade discounts for customers that buy off us regularly. And if you think you qualify for that, you can contact our sales staff and they will set you up with a trade discount. And that just means that with your email address, you can log on to our website and see your price. And then there's automatic bulk discounts. So uh, if you want to know what those are, you can um, click on a, a button on, it, on the product page, which is on every page on our website. And that, that button is something about bulk discounts. When you press that, uh, it pops up the table and then the table shows you the price breaks for five, five, pa five packs of 10, mm -hmm. uh, five, 10, 30, 50 and 100 mm -hmm. packs. Yep. So then the price is going to be significantly less if you're doing um, both of those trade discounts plus bulk discounts. Yep. But yep. they don't come with the screws, do they? You've got to buy them separately? Yeah. yeah. We, don't, we don't sell the screws. Uh, yeah, I don't know, even know if we sell any screws on our website. Mm. We do bolts and other things, but not so much screws. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> um, yeah, so, I mean, these are sometimes used on other components for um, guardrails. Um, so, like, people probably know brand names like Armco. Um, you know, some people might call them a W-beam. Um, there's different ways that we attach them to... Um, different pieces of metal, whether it's a, you know, owl bracket or uh, some other sort of bracket. And yeah, we also sometimes put them on bollards. Sometimes we put them flush on a bollard by um, recessing the bollard 
about 85 mil recess and then put this sort of sub subsurface so it's like flush and flat. Um, yeah, we've we've attached them to other things in the past. Um, but wherever you might need a reflector, some people want it on their letterbox at their driveway if it's in a you know rural area where it's dark and they want to know where their their house is. So yeah, there's a, a multitude of uh, uses for them. Can you put them on your, like your bikes and stuff? Yeah, not so much. Probably no. if you wanted one on your bike, you could go to the bike shop and get uh, one of the ones for the bikes because they're sort of smaller and different shapes and sizes, different attachment methods. Yeah. Yep. So being reflective, does that mean they kind of light up when there's like headlights and stuff like that? Yep. 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 Yeah. So um, blue, you might find at a uh, um, wherever there's a point for the fire brigade to access water, mm -hmm. so a water point. Um, sometimes you'll have a blue cat's eye on the road. You might have this on a post nearby. Um, you might have some sort of white triangle arrow. You might even have a WP or something like that. Um, uh, red, you'll often find on the left-hand side of the road. And then, um, uh, what's this video? <laughs> left-hand <laughs> side of the road and, and white on the, um, on the right. Um, so yeah, there's different reasons for different colours, obviously, mm -hmm. and um, uh, yeah, if you don't know what it's, what's the right colours to put, you should all, obviously always check with your regulatory body before doing it, and to, never take our word for it or anyone else's word for it if it's not in writing. Um, then um, you could uh, possibly do the wrong thing. There would be um, repercussions or consequences, which um, you should always, you know, make sure that you're doing that by the book. Mm -hmm. So yeah, just check with your um, local road authority before just putting them how you think that they should be um, in case a regulation has changed or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's probably about it. Um, if you want to buy the product, you can go to www.advancedgroup.com.au. And if you want to see more videos like this, please hit like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Thanks, mate. Bye.